Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, you are not going to believe what we are learning about today. We get to use these blocks and balls to learn about magnitude and estimation. I know that sounds challenging, but let's learn it together. Here we can see that we have some dodgeballs. Count how many dodgeballs we have. We have one, two, three, four dodgeballs. Now here comes another group or set of dodgeballs. There are a lot more dodgeballs. There are 40 dodgeballs or 10 times the group of four dodgeballs. Can you visually compare the two groups? Obviously, the group of 40 is quite a bit more, and it's easy to see that. Now let's look at another group of dodgeballs. We will have to back up even more to see this group. There are 400 dodgeballs in this group. That is a lot. Can you see the difference between the groups of dodgeballs? Over here on the left, we have 4, which is one digit. Then we have 40 in the next group. 40 is composed of two digits. The last group has 400 dodgeballs. 400 is composed of three digits. Now this is easy to see the difference, but what if we had to estimate an amount of something different? Here is a group of blocks, and we need to estimate how many we have. We are given some options to choose from. Are there three blocks, 30 blocks, or 300 blocks? What do you think? If you said 30, you are correct. We know that just three blocks would be easy to see and count. We also know that 300 would be a lot more than what we see. So we estimate we have 30 blocks. Great job. Let's look at another group of objects, and this one might be a little bit harder. Here is a jar of candy. Wait, this is some strange looking candy. Looks just like me. Oh well, can you estimate the amount for me? Do you think there are four pieces, 40 pieces, or 400 pieces of candy? Can you tell me why you chose that number? There are 400 pieces of candy in this jar. We can see just by looking at the candy that there is definitely more than four. We can also see that there is more than 40 as that would just make up a small portion of the total amount of candies. So there is 400. You estimated correctly, great job. Thank you so much for joining me. Now I need to check this candy to see if it's any good. See you next time, goodbye. Mmm, yummy. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.